Rebecca, great to see you again. Good to see you, Mike, as always. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm glad we spent some time again together and helping each other. Um, one thing that always is on, I know people that uh, we coach and they're on, it's on their mind, I know it's always on my mind, is w there's so many things about work that we get so into it that we work our butts off day after day after day and we have more and more on the plate doing more with less. Uh, positions were eliminated, so we're working harder, we're working longer hours, we're working more right. days and weekends and nights. Right. What do we do? How do we unwind a little bit in order to be more successful? Well, I, I tell you, Mike, it, it, it's reaching really horrendous place right now. It's always been bad, yes. but now it's just ridiculous. Yes. In fact, I think I read someplace the other day that Americans are taking less vacation than 20 years ago and way less than other industrialized Western nations. Yes. And we've become a nation of workaholics. Huh. We really have. I feel it. And think about this. If you were an alcoholic or if you were a drug addict and the discovered at work, they would send you off to the employee assistance yes. program and they would help you hopefully come back from that addiction and lead a better life. If you're a workaholic, yes. they don't send you to employee assistance. No, they pile some more work on you. Oh exactly. yeah, give it to Rebecca, <laughs> you know, she's a workaholic, she'll do it. Exactly. We reward the worst behavior that is really ultimately killing our productivity, our innovation, yes. our creativity. Yes. You know, and it's even worse today. I mean, you could be lying on the beach in Hawaii and you would have your little electronic gizmos with you and somebody could call you from work and say, oh, by the way, Rebecca, could you just give me this information, take care of that? Oh, sure. Do it. You know, while the kids are playing in the surf. Now, this really hit home to me some years ago and I was in Canada working and was having dinner with some friends and there were some people that I had gotten to know there and we always enjoyed going out and we went to plays and the, we'd go to museums and always out to nice dinners and so forth. So we're sitting around one night talking and one of my friends turned to me and says, you know, Rebecca, you never talk about anything but work anymore. Yes. Oh, it was like she'd just taken the ice water and thrown it in my face. I mean, yeah. That really that hit hurts. home. And of course, I knew she was right. Yes. And Couldn't so I got it. I got to thinking about this. And it was really kind of one of those epiphanies when I said to myself, if it ain't fun, I ain't doing it. Gotcha. And that became my mantra, not to goof off at work. But to really pull back in and get work and the rest of my life into some sort balance. of what people today are always talking about, balance. Yes. And I think it also goes back to that earlier conversation we were having about Covey yes. and about Urgency. being opportunity minded rather than problem minded. Yes. And the endless to-do list and just throwing stuff on instead of stepping back, being more strategic deciding what do we really need to be taken care of and being more focused and getting the job done. I know that if I say I am walking out of this office today at five o'clock, I am much more efficient and organized and focused during the course of the day than if it's just endless and I'm still in that mode of thinking, well, I'll take Sunday off. <laughs> I mean, it's, yes. it's gotten crazy. So it's, it's getting the focus, it's being opportunity minded, it's allowing that creativity to come out. I was working in a company once that uh, hired a yoga instructor to come in once a week. Yes. And I can tell you on those days, I was more productive. Better. Not only, I had more energy, I felt better. Why? Because I spent a little time out of the office. Gotcha. When I had my first big job, I was sitting there one day at lunch, uh, 
at lunchtime and I'm working away on my computer and probably gnawing on a sandwich. And my boss came up and says, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? I'm working. And he says, no, no, what are you doing? Right. And after the fourth time he asked me, I finally said, oh, I'm eating my sandwich. No, he says, it's lunchtime. Right. You must leave the office at lunchtime. Good. Good. He made and he, he says, even if all you do, and we were in downtown Manhattan, even if all you do is go out and walk around the block and get a, ha a hot dog from the vendor, you must go out. And of course he was right. Yes. When I went out, I walked around, got some fresh air, cleared my mind, noticed the world around me. And it's, it comes back, I think, to what is often said, mindfulness. Yes. Being Being mindful of life and the life around me and what's really important. Yes, yes. And as important and as much as I love my work, I love my family, I love my friends, I yes. love living in a beautiful place with lots of good nature around. Yes. And that's what gets me more productive. I'm more productive today than I ever was in those crazy days when I was running like the little rat in the wheel. So it's almost like you think you're doing more by just keeping yourself busy, you're actually getting less done, but what you're saying to do is put up some boundaries, have some focus, put the energy into those things that actually are gonna be the most productive and have boundaries and not jam it up all the time. That's right. I think that's unbelievably sound advice and <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome, you're quite thank welcome. You.